Do you also think that it'll help with uh, immigration at the northern border? I've been so stunned to see the uh, rapid increase of illegal immigration at the northern border through Canada. It's back to that hydraulic pump. You start squeezing in one place, it shows up in another. Mm -hmm. So I've done the math on this. I think when we look at the undeployed troops or troops that are deployed in places they shouldn't be, we absolutely have enough to be able to seal the Swiss cheese of a southern border and to secure most of the vulnerable parts of our northern border as well. And I actually think this is one of the ways we revive pride in our military. It's one of the things we've lost is the purpose of that institution. Right. Fought pointless wars for a long time. Young men and women going to die, spending hundreds of billions of dollars of taxpayer money. Now, 25% of young people, actually, young people don't want to serve the military. We have a 25% recruitment deficit in the U.S. military last year. Part of the way we fix that problem is let's use our military to actually – who would have ever thought protect the lives of Americans mm. starting here on American soil? So I think that's also one of the ways we solve that crisis of purpose in our military. And when the military lacks purpose, that's when wokeism and gender ideology substitute and fill the void. And in some ways, it's the Pentagon. They blow woke smoke to deflect accountability for their own failure of mission over the last 25 years fighting pointless wars. Wokeness is a great deflection tactic. Just like it is for the public schools. Yeah. I mean, say math is racist. <laughs> it's a great way to deflect attention from saying you're not actually we teaching. We can't actually teach them anything. Exactly. How to do math. 